Andrews. We don't see any other upgrade coming for Wee Bang. Wee Bang, though, is bringing on his second expansion. We'll be fortifying it with the Spine Crawlers. Good positioning, trying to protect himself from any sort of drop harassment, which Sho was more than apt and more than willing to do to anyone who makes it of easy and available. Nice placement of that barracks, by the way. I did not make a comment about that. I'm not allowing any sort of zergling rush into the background and running into there. Although they still have the gaps right here. Just basically going to make any sort of uh, advance really make you pay for that advance. We Bang do also doing a really, really good job of expanding the skin highway as this is just... Mm, that is lovely. As a Zerg player, that makes me all hot and bothered because look at this. This is just like... This is like my land. <laughs> you thought the American flag on the moon was bad. This is just like basically... Only, and then we actually do have a lot of these... All of these forces will be melting right there underneath all of these Banelings. Banelings circumventing around the Thors, trying to get these biological units. Biological units running for their life. Will it be enough? I do not think so. We do see them actually cower in the bunker. Those four Marines were the, pretty much the only thing left over from that. It's all these other Marines really, really not feeling so hot. However, the Mutalists were not enough to finish it up as we have show moving on the natural of Weebang. Weebang's Phallus Defense Forces were not happy about this. Trying to make something happen here. We have a lot more Banelings spawning. We're, growing right there it's just we do have impacts on those marines all those marines going down right there those few marauders that were left over going to fall to that we see the <laughs> medevac snatch up that thor and carry it away to safety and that poor Mar that poor marine was forced to walk back all by himself please dear lord don't drop that on me that would hurt and we bang Got really lucky right there that there wasn't anything left. There was no more steam, basically, in Sho's army. As it would have really been a devastating hit to lose this natural as it's fully populated and really making things happen. Now, we do see Sho showing up with two more meta. I do believe that was a bad rally right there. As that will... Oh, bad rallies, man. If you want to piss me off, one way is just start rallying your units to death. Because, you know, you see units just trickle into a... Uh, into the oncoming army, and they don't even shoot back, and that just kind of makes me cry. And I don't care who you are. So we do have another flock of Mutalists spawning and kind of uh, hanging out above their Zergling buddies here. Will it be enough? I don't believe so. This story is going to be a big pain, and these medevacs, I think there's almost enough... I think there's a one-to-one -one ratio medevac to Marines, so these Marines are going to be happy to have that, but there are a lot of Banelings on the ground, and the Marines are definitely going to sad face all over that. So show wisely backing up however we do see a command center floating away looks like it is yes indeed heading towards a high yield expansion so show is going for the big bucks right here the question is can he hold it if you hold it you're a winner if you lose it it really really hurts you because although it only takes a little while to recoup the money from harvesting a high yield the fact is you're gonna lose the command center you're probably gonna lose a lot of SCVs. And actually, it looks like the show is going to lose this army as there's a nice surround with all of these Zerglings. We do have more Marauders showing up, but these Banelings are itching to get to them. We see a little bit of micro, micro here from show. Show able to move the Marauders back ever so slightly. Only one more uh, Baneling able to get up in there, and it would really do a lot of damage to those Marauders. However, the Banelings did lose steam as the concussive shells kept them at arm's ring for those Marauders. And we do have these Marines moving in here to the expansion of Weebang. Weebang choosing not to engage under the... Uh, Watchful guys of these spine crawlers as we do have one spine crawler engaging these marines two spine crawlers both poking the lip and crap out of these marines We do see a mother mother marine take a fistful of bone in the face and more certainly showing up going to be reinforcing this and the uh, Went a little bit overkill as these mutilists did not really need to show up and do anything But they did take out that medevac and that girl did go down in ball of flames and we almost see this command center die as well as uh, we see all these SCVs scurrying over here, trying to save it, as we see Sho coalescing some sort of force right here on the high ground. Uh, he's in a... This is a not very good place to be for Sho. Sho is going to be engaged right here. Are we going to see a surround? We're going to see a lot of bangers coming here. These SCVs are going to eat a lot of this. Oh, look at all those SCVs. All of them just died right there, soaking up a lot of that bangling damage. Meanwhile, the Mutalists are just pouring on the Glaive Worms. These Glaive Worms are just ripping these units to shred. As Sho is in not a very good position right now, as he's lost almost all of his SCVs to that Baneling, but god, that was just an ocean of death acid. It's like all the Zerglings just threw up on all of those SCVs. This SCV's trying to scurry for his life, of course, not gonna happen, as that Glaveworm just totally ran him into the ground. 
This planetary force is not able to pivot its gun up into the air, as that would be a very effective close shot right there. But nonetheless, these mutilists are A-OK -okay safe and will be taking out that planetary fortress. So Sho, trying to make something happen here, trying to poke around. These marauders are uh, not going to be able to engage, so they do actually retreat to their marine buddies. The marines scurrying for the bunker. However, this bunker is not going to be able to thwart all of these mutilists. These mutilists will be able to de DPS it down if they so choose. The zerglings adding their DPS to that. And Sho is desperately trying to he heal that bunker. Meanwhile, the mutilists are inside of Sho's base and are just tearing into his production facility. So Sho right now in a really bad way, throwing these mules down, trying desperately to get his economy back online. However, he does see that this is in fact futile and is going to tap out. So Sho falling to a player which most would consider far below him as Wee Bang once again is actually ranked number 1400 as ladder ranks... Um, are not necessarily a true litmus test for a person's skill, which is a good gauge in how this person plays overall. So, Wee Bang doing a really good job taking the first out of three in between him and Sho. So, guys, hope you enjoyed what you hope you enjoyed the game. Please join me for the next two. And as always, citizens, stay safe.